the 500th anniversary of Luther nailing his 95 theses uh, onto the church door at the castle in Wittenberg. It's a very important anniversary for the church. And I think a conference like this that's celebrating the glory and the beauty of the Reformation fulfills an extremely useful function. It rediscovered or, or dug out from under a lot of dross uh, the great gospel of salvation brought to the fore the notion of justification by grace through faith alone. Uh, it transformed the nature of the ministry. This is my second conference. Uh, came to the first one last year. The writings of Luther, Calvin. I mean, these are things that I've had brushes with, but not had such an in-depth look. And to to realize that there are really you know, so many uh, lessons that are extremely re relevant for us, for the Christians today, for churches today. As it was in that day, so it is in our day. It is the authority of the Scriptures. What you need to come away with is that there are things in life for which you need to be prepared to die. The most precious thing you have is your life. There are things for which you need to be prepared to give your life in loyalty to one who claims your life, namely the Lord Jesus Christ and His Word. I really think this conference is really bringing an about face to the Reformation and having us really look uh, into the church, into the preaching in the church, uh, into the worship of the church, and how we can continue the traditions of the Reformation today. I think one, one thing that really stood out for this conference was uh, how much we owe to our predecessors, right? We, uh, they literally gave up their life so we could have a translation of the Bible. There are so many things that we just completely take for granted people coming up and saying, I had no idea that so many of these men gave their blood, gave their life, gave everything for the gospel. And when I look at their lives and compare it to my life, who am I to complain about the trivial problems of, of my life? I want to be a real son and daughter of the Reformation. I want to go out and live my life fully and solely, exclusively for the Lord Jesus Christ. He has spoken in his word. And that word is as efficacious now as it was in Tyndale's day. To build up, to tear down, to revitalize, to revive, and to reform. May God give you, burn this into your soul, that you be willing to die for the authority of the word of God. Amen. Amen.